All right, disaster struck. I looked over and I saw it wasn't recording anymore. That's just awful. I've checked things and we've only lost a minute or two, and it was mostly about a bird. I'll catch you up on that. But still, not great to look over and see that the thing you're supposed to be doing isn't the thing that has to, is actually being done. Put your journal somewhere. Yeah, I guess the journal doesn't belong in uh, this, this slot. But anyway, the big thing, there's a bird. There's a bird and you can talk to the bird. You can talk to the bird. And it wants food, but it's full right now. So I'm talking to the bird. There's absolutely nothing that can stop me from talking to this bird. Uh, that's really the only real revelation. Nothing much happened. It was just a lot of me cooing over a bird. You have to understand, these things happen. All right. Now I have the rag, oh, it's Winter Miner. I gotta level it though. Just so I have some. Some winter. Some hope. Do I have a nice level 4 winter book somewhere? I don't. I think I do have one, but it's contaminated, right? Oh. Chionic Theoplasma. Chionic Theoplasma. I gotta start working on this book, right? How do I cure it? You can remove it with a skill that's effective against theoplasmic contamination and at least seven heart. Can I do seven heart? Well, we're going to find out. With the right memory, I'm pretty sure I can. Because I have two heart there. Over here in my chore, I have two heart there. I have more Maybe I need uh, a seven. No wait, I don't have a heart tool, which is the big problem. No wait, I do. It's the uh, mop. Maybe I can do that. Maybe I should do that now, right after daybreak. All right, Let's see if we can clean this book up. That'll be what we're doing today. Can I get a heart memory? I have cake time. Okay, so let's get some heart. I'm just gonna read this. Oh, no, we're gonna read this over here with just some Arab, because I have so much of it. Gotta level that up somewhere. Not sure where. Um, I guess right here, right? Put it here. So, how does this work? Skill, try to read it with heart, I guess. And spread to nearby objects with a skill that's effective against theoplasmic contamination. And at least, is this good against theoplasmic con contamination? No, oh. Okay, this might be harder than I thought. Many things tend to be. All right. No, no. Where is it? What's this? Chandlery. No, no. No. Hmm. so many problems. I know I have such a skill. These little icons, these two icons are two the same. They even have the little lines. They have to not, one of them has to not have those lines at least. Um, do I have any skills effective against theoplasmic contamination? Preservation, healing and restoration. Effective against corruption.
This is effective against infestations. This is not it, right? See, it's it's heart. This is effective against infestations. Is this an infestation? I don't think so. Skill that's effective against theoplasmic contamination. Is it? I don't think it's an infestation, is the thing. But I don't see anything otherwise that would tell me otherwise. This is more infestation. Who are you? No, that's tuned my fet. Tuned Faust. You. Effective against theoplasmic contamination. Very straightforward. But by using this, um, it's my only one, unfortunately. I can't use it here for first off. So it's edge and forge, so let's take this upstairs. I think it was upstairs. Oh, too much stuff is going on. Uh-huh, right here. So we go right here, put this book here. No, we put um, the Menescate skill. Where'd she go? Right there. And I have to get seven heart with this and that and that. My soul is... I can't even put chore there. So I need to find a place that's forge and heart in order to do this. Hmm. This is heart and... Uh, this is minor, either edge or forge and heart. That's not what I want, right? That's absolutely not what I want. I need more furniture. That's not what I want. I don't have enough desks. That's not at all what I want. Where's her bedroom? The cushy bedroom. Doesn't have a desk. There's a phonograph player. I am fairly certain I cannot actually do this thing I want to do right now. Hmm. Which isn't irritating, but we will get into winter later, hopefully. Uh, yeah, go right there, back on the shelf. Anyway, we gotta talk about today, right? Which means, first thing we do, down to the bar, throw some money around. We are spending and spending and spending. We have to go to work before long if I'm not careful. And we're just gonna see what kind of day it is today. What's our weather forecast? Fog is knocking moon. Unfortunately, my knock is, it's having problems at the moment. But it has a use, right? Right, no, no. And plenty of moon uses. I should try to get into one of these. Well, we're going to see who shows up. Uh, not really optimistic about the day. Anyway, I've got a work on this, right? I need to find a nectar memory. A. And then the thorns. And some effort. That's definitely going to be health, right? And then a memory. Be a moth memory or a nectar memory. And I think perhaps I don't have either of those. Yeah. Edge or nectar. 
called Moth and Nectar. I am... Is Nectar going swimming? Swimming is, uh... Um... That gives... That gives scale, right? And moon. Mm. So a Nectar memory is kind of eluding me. Hmm, I could read on spec, I suppose, but I've only read one Nectar book, and I've read no moth books, which is quite a problem, I think. There's a Nectar bed. And I have plenty of stuff to drink, but the problem is the librarian doesn't drink. That's weird. It's a good way to put it. Very weird that the librarian doesn't drink. However, that's uh, oh, a big moon thing. I got plenty down there already, but there's room for plenty more. There we go. Properly classified. So how do I do this? I kind of have to do this. I can't just leave off. I need to find... Or I need to find another lesson, right? No, I can't. I could get this instead, which is going to be uh, Grail, which means easier to level. However, it will be um, the minor instead of the major, which is infuriating. So, do I have to just read a book? And hope to find a moth book. Because I have a hell of a lot of moth. Where can I find a nectar memory? They should be very easy, right? Like, for, like, dissecting things. Walking around the beach and finding things. That found nectar stuff, right? Which knowledge. I can dissect flowers, right? And that will give me smell? What can I do with this? Like, there's a bunch of very simple... Here, I'm going to burn some flowers and see if it gives me a memory of smell, which is nectar-oriented. I'm going to use my fet. No need. We got something happening. Memory of sight of seeing something burned. Mm. Can I just eat something? Can I consider some honey? Consider this. Some fat. Analyze the liquid. And the auction is for. A book I can't afford. <laughs> it's the... I already have this, right? Alright, so... All that's fine. We are on adventures. We are solving... We talked to a bird. We talked to the bird. It's a hungry green cockatoo now. On numerous occasions, this wonderful bird has remained almost entirely inaudible. Oh, it told me gossip. That's not really useful. All right, so let's feed the bird, right? Talk to the bird. Oh, it makes noises now. Here, my bird, have some honey. Satisfy this creature's appetite. Alright. That was silly. That's the best way to put it. That was silly. Anyway, let's see what we got going on. Memory of taste for eating? No. Hmm. Can I dissect something else? Dissect this plant. 
searching for something which I cannot name. I need a proper memory, or I need it to rain. Rain would help. Okay, I walked along. Consulting engineer. Lantern or forge? The lantern is what I'm looking at right there. Alright, let's see what we can do. Alright, what have I done here? I've gotten a cheerful ditty. Did I read this for real? No, this was just me pulling up some heart and sky, thinking I was going to purge that book. However, I'm not going to be able to purge that book because I don't have the right skill in the right space. Which is quite unfortunate. What's Grail do over here? Shelf, I mean. Two Grail, two Sky. Mm. Should I go pick flowers? Will that give me a memory? Pick some flowers. This might work, right? And I'll take the knowledge with me. I'm going to have to be doing this more and more. There's too much on the screen. Right to the roots. Let's see if this will give me a nice memory. Anyway, uh, that's going on. That's like a C plot. We need to find a lantern. Twelve lantern. Can I get there? I don't think so. Not with this fog. Yeah, my guess doesn't line up with the day at all. So I guess I could just not hire him. Go for a smaller target. Like I can do nine lantern pretty easy, I think. Right here is what I want. Uh, we're not going to make progress there, that's for sure. Yeah, not appropriate. All right, go right here. No, up there. No. This looks like we're just gonna buff your lantern. That's fine. We'll open up a new room. Good. Memory of scent. There's my memory right there. By dissecting a uh, plant. Unfortunately, I have to wait another minute for all that to get back. That's fine. Feed the beastie. A full belly makes a helpful friend. I love the bird. The bird is the best. Um, I feel like I was going to do something else. Uh, I was going to hire this guy with my rapidly dwindling funds. Then we're going to prepare to lantern him to the hilt, right? Shouldn't be difficult. Give me the pence. Talk to my engineer here. Understand the light. Think about the light with me. All right, over here. We walked along the beach. Gathered some sand. You can turn it into glass. I'm going to have to do something with all of this, aren't I? Like, I feel there has to be a new phase of the game coming. Like These marks have to come into play. You can't just be opening up the house, though I fully suspect I won't be able to open this place up. It's like, it's there to taunt me, and it's already working. Right, good. Should probably make an order for more more drinks. I've been saying I need to do that for a while, and I kept not doing it. All right, so that's my last lantern copy. This can get him to eight, and this can get him to nine. What else can I give you? I can give you a candle. Fuel? Can I give you an actual candle? Give him paper. That's weird. Super weird. So it's fuel, not a candle. I can give a drink to give him to, uh... Give him this memory, I suppose. That'll get him to seven, and then this drink will get him to nine, and this will get him to ten. I can get a better memory, I think. 
I get two lanterns, so all right, so eight, ten, eleven. I can get you to eleven lantern. What can you do with eleven lantern? I can almost open that up if I can find one more. If I can give him some fuel that burns. All right, we're doing that. I don't even care. Here, drink this. I gotta go order more, which I will go do right now. Uh, no, you stay there. The book, however, needs to be read. Not with my metal. Not with that. That thing was cursed. Don't exercise that. Try to pretend it doesn't hurt. With Chits, Trist Plus, I guess. Okay, so things are coming together. That's going there. That's going there. I have to order some some stuff, and we do that at this desk. It's going to cost money, unfortunately. I'm going to have to sell the Splintria. That's fine. That's what money's for. All right, I am ordering. Let's get some ham. Order ham. A can of ham. See how this goes. I, I want to go again. Why won't it go again? Why will it make me do everything again? Ordering supplies. I should probably get glue. I should probably get copper wire. Dawn Lion coffee is what really works for me. Uh, start. Good. Collect. And while we're doing an order, we might as well order more. Dawn Lion coffee. Good. That'll be good for a while right there. And we order more. Oh, what more do I know? Lapsang tea is the really good forge one, right? What does Assam tea do? Do I have this? Drinking cocoa. Drinking cocoa. Hmm. And then get some lapsand tea. That's what I'm doing. This is the good forge one. Okay, done. Collect. Now I need to go down here. I have to probably sell my splintria. How much we need? Yeah, I gotta sell the splintria. I need the money. I am near you broke. Thank you. And I got a crown for it. I am still pretty poor, but I have lots of stuff on the way. Meanwhile, my friend here, who I am buffing, think about this, please. Good. And what more am I doing with my life? I'm not reading a book, which is probably a problem. Anyway, got some Lenten rose. Pretty poisonous. No true rose, but it is a rose rose. Um, maybe I can give that to someone at some point. Oh, do I have a rose shelf? There, right there, that's my rose shelf. The flowers go there. Anyway, uh, that was just a sideshow. So we want right to the roots. This memory of scent, this lesson about leaves and thorns, and this effort which has to be fet. Yeah, do it. Get me more uh, nectar, which is Definitely 100% needed. Furthermore, what else is going on? Next stop, waiting for this. We have learned Radiance, and has got us a revelation. And that is, after all, why my friend is here. Revelation. All right. This would be a faster way to do this. There's too many clicks. I'll get you to 11. All right, right to the roots, level two. 
Maybe I can even put that on the, uh... No, it's already on here, right? Yeah, it's right there. Alright, so... Three Nectar, which is a little better, but it's still hard to use because it's aligned with Moth. It's attuned to health. So I can increase my health cards if I can find a proper place to do so. So I'll need a Nectar place or a Moth place. The Moth place is the Barber's Chair, right? That does it's not a... There just are no Nectar places right here, I suppose, but this is also a crafting bench. So, we did not win the book. That's fine. Hmm, definitely not nectar. Definitely not moth. Yeah. Not what I need. Not what I need. I need nectar here. That's not going to do what I want. So my ingredient would be health, and the other ingredient would be health. Would it work? It doesn't take a soul card, unfortunately. See? Not even heart. Hmm. Alright. Um... Some progress made, though. But anyway, we have to work on our last mystery over here. That I have to find one more point. One more point, and he can take fuel. You know, let's just test that. Fueling their efforts. But this is not the right kind of fuel. Yeah. So let's do a search for lantern fuel. No, we want uh, fuel. Click this button. That's flashing. We look for flashing. I'm really surprised there is nothing flashing in the forge. Yeah. No fuel. It's really interesting. Like, I know the driftwood I found somewhere, right there, that's fuel. But it is not the fuel that I need. Maybe I need to walk the moors to find this. Which will be a shame, because uh, I would have had to done it a long time ago. Nope. Come, friendly words. No fuel. Hmm. Oh, that is such a problem. Well, I'm here to make a great picture, right? It's good to know why we're here. Because right, that, those wheels of wood I have a couple of them, right? And they're just hanging out. Are those fuel? Yeah. But they're not the correct fuel. Hmm. Pillars of the sky, or paper in waiting. What about this one? No, that is nice. Maybe I should go searching for things more often. Yeah, it looks like just normal paper. Normal paper. And, fortunately, I don't think I have anything else I can feed him. So he stays at 11. Ugh. Oh, wait. That's paper? No, that is, that's just paper. That's not fuel. Alright. Time to give up, I suppose. Right, that's fuel over in the corner. What are you? Turpentine. Hmm. I would totally burn some of my uh, lantern material. Oh, there's some fuel right there and there. What's this? 
oscillate oil, unfortunately not what I want. Yeah, unfortunately, I believe this is going to be a failure condition. So I wish I could give him a candle. All right, let's check him again one more time before we give up. He is such a uh, versatile person at the moment. Gave him a memory, a drink, tool. And what else can I give you? All right, done, done, not done. Food. Do I have lantern food anywhere? And that would seem very unlikely to me that that would exist at all anywhere. But we'll see. Cuckoo honey is very strange. Oh, I can brew this. Fortunately, it has lantern, but not as I want it. Yeah, I have plenty of food, but no lantern food. And what would that even look like, you know? Yeah, basket of apples is nice. Maybe some weird regent he can eat. Here, eat this. Don't ask about it. No, nothing weird in the alchemist's lab. All right, I give up. That's fine. Uh, so we're not entering the tower today, which is terrible. We have 11 lanterns. We can enter the glaring room. It's a lot of call for lantern. Yeah, there's a lot of simple rooms down here I'm avoiding, which I probably shouldn't. All right, so yes, the glaring room is where you must go. Sigh. And I was going to read a book at some point. Should I do that while the fog is here? Find the biggest knock thing I can find that isn't contaminated? Unfortunately, I can't read you. No, I can read you now. I can read Ramson's. All right, let's go. Since it's the right sort of day for it, let's do it. All right, take your book, put it right there. Take a unfamiliar with language. Ramsund. Oh, I have to supply it? Where are you? I can level my Ramsund? That seems weird. Alright, anyway. Anyway, I say. Right there. So, Ramsund, where did you go? I had you in my hand. Just a minute ago. Right there. Provides uh, additional. Uh, I wonder if I would not be able to read Ramson if it wasn't at this desk and I just got very lucky. Alright, so we have seven knock. And do I put in my, my terrible shaft? I should make the bitter black salts and the secret threshold. I should make a lot of stuff. Alright, let's see what happens when I use my malady for a purpose. You gotta know, right? You can't just never know. Even though that is a skill in the other game. Alright. I am a match for the book. Anyway, so we have opened the glaring room. Look at you. Solarium. This room was once for the meditation of favored visionaries, where White Matilda prophesied the victory of the Iron King in the Wars of the Roads. As much as it would occur 300 years later. She got the name wrong, though. 
<laughs> more books. We have Bisclavet's Knot, another mark. The Bisclavet, Clav, Claveret, Bisclavet is the half-human hill child of these parts, and this is its sign. And William Harry's highly polished bronze. Nine wink clock, the most effective and irrefutable alarm clock ever to grace the house. We got just some stuff, huh? Just some books. That feather, an awakened feather, alive to every drought and spark, draft and spark. English, why are you so weird? So I guess this was in order to give me this mark, huh? That's the main purpose of this room. I have a bunch of books, which it's towards the end of the day, so we're gonna read some books, but not up here. We're going roughly in order, sorta, sorta order. Just read this book, and we'll process it in due time. Alright, so we've not done a terrible lot today. It's a nice, easy uh, lantern book, which I will shove on easy shelf for easy reach with ease. And the last thing we're doing today is over here. I think I got two more days left in May before I have to rest. Alright, so knock on the windy winding stair. Wriggly Wee Lock, the master mason and architect employed by Walter DeWolf to construct the winding stair and the guest chambers in Hush House, describes a more ambitious and dangerous project. Gregory marks the bricks of his roost touch family home, Teowin, with ramson bricks, hoping to open forbidden doors. Gregory apparent, evidently succeeds in opening a way to something he calls the Moon Hall, but here his account becomes erratic. He insists that the Moon Hall, the Horn Axe, that in the Moon Hall the Horn Axe is still an edge power. He hopes for an eternal rival, but he cannot find the one he needs. The narrative is increasingly interspersed with chess notations and ends abruptly. I thought the horned axe was female. I got a memory, which we do not need, as that comes from many areas. And more lessons about the door and a wall. Only I don't need this, really. I should apply these lessons elsewhere like immediately why I have all of these memories available. Okay, anyway, we have to classify this book as unimportant. I'll have to organize all of these eventually, but right now I need space. Anyway, all right, so door in the wall doesn't need to be upgraded right now. It's doing fine. Uh, what do I need to upgrade? The winter ragged crossroads. What lesson can I put here? Can I do this? No, it doesn't. Sh I guess it doesn't share. Knock and forge. Let's let's test. Upgrade you. I can upgrade you. Why? Oh, because it shares forge. All right. And like over here, where it shares nothing, it can't go. It must have forge lantern. Okay. Okay, so I need to find edge memories or winter memories to upgrade that. And I have knock and forge here. So I find a forge thing, right? Um, anything I want to boost still higher? This is forge and sky. I tend to be sky lacking. And just do forge and forge to have even more forge. The forgiest forge. Why is the wolf yellow? The wolf should not be yellow. Um, 
So yeah, I guess I use that to upgrade the forge a little bit. I can put metal there. Sky, I guess, because, yeah. All right, this is progress. That was a wonderful book to read. We've made it to another... Oh, I probably should have saved memory. Oh well. Uh, as we do, first thing, go down to the inn, sort all our skills, throw in f Arab, get a person to come. Just another person, just filling in the world. Uh, second thing to do is wait to see what kind of day it is. It's a gale. Gale is heart and sky. And I can't I can't get up to twelve sky, which is what I want. But I can definitely use heart for something. Like there's a bunch of like Miss Killy is one heart, right? One, four, five, six, and then the bowl. So Miss Killy can use that to get in, but we're going to see who shows up. We're going to open up this room today. The wrecked pantry. There, excellent. Bells and braziers. Now for the other place. Now, I need to find uh, Forge or Knock. I mean, here's Forge and Knock, but I suppose it's the skill name. Um, get even more moth. I have grail. Get more sky. Definitely use sky. Mm. Forge and knock. I'm going to be doing this a lot. I can get more heart. Heart is always in short supply. I think I need that more than either than anything else. It's either Forge or it's Heart or Sky. Now let's do a main Sky skill. And I can do that with that memory, but I want to save the Gale. So let's go get a Sky memory. That's over here, right? Now it's over here, right? Now this will give it to me anyway. And up there. So hard juggling all these menus. Okay, that will give me what I need to upgrade that skill. Beautiful. Now I'm still waiting to see who shows up today. There we go. Who? Surrealist Painter. Rose, Grail, and Moth. That doesn't line up at all. So I guess go get Miss Killy. We will work with her. There's going to be a lot of pressure on talk today. So what can I do with Grail? There's an easy Grail room, right? Yeah. All right, she'll come with me. You'll open up something before the end. All right. Painter has come to Cornwall. Painter in the pigments wouldn't want to spend a day here. So, we need Grail. I can give her paint, food, a tool, a beverage. How high can I get you? Pretty high. Skeleton songs. To Grail, then I can talk to her about what's my grailiest grail I have. My Arab. Let's start there. I'll we'll probably get you the nine, right? Open up that room. Uh huh. And I have to read a book now, right? So I'm opening up two rooms. I'm upgrading a skill. Now it's time to read a book as one does. We have this nice easy lantern book, right? No, we're gonna read this this right here. Encircling Tantra, it's a scale book. I probably should have prepped my memory earlier. 
but I have all sorts of scale stuff available. So redo here, try to throw in now. Read you here. Read you somewhere. I kind of want to put Trist in, right? So that's not going to be needed today. But concentrating my skills, I now have less of them. All right, so I have that memory coming, that memory coming. Miss Killy is going to come with me. I'm going to see how what we can do with her. And over here we have got our confounding parable, which we are going to use to upgrade, what was we going to upgrade? Anvery and uh, memory. The effort has to be the lessons right there. The effort has to be fast. Hmm. Wish I had thought that ahead. Anyway, move on. And another level two skill. Excellent. Go again. Okay. Uh, we are going to shift gears here and talk to Miss Killy, who should be the easy one today. And she will get to four. We just want like how do we want seven? We want seven. Um, now talk to her with chore. A lot of pressure on talk today. And Anvery has leveled. Beautiful. I don't think I have anything that isn't on the board, right? All these things are bells and braziers, the rights of the roots. Alright. Better. Okay. Over there. We have read that book, and we have a memory, so we can start reading this book. Where is an appropriate scale desk? Right there. Right there, with this memory, and with the scale tool, right? Which we have right there, the hourglass, the scale skill. Do I have any scale? Yeah. There we go. Just read it. And over there we have buffed Miss Killy to level four. Now we have to talk to her of chore. And we have to give her a bowl to bake a cake. Alright, great. Come back to me, Miss Killy. Look at this. Look at this bowl. All right, so now uh, it's almost the end of the day. I've only got her to up to six. It's going to be close, isn't it? Go, Miss Killy. Fix the pantry. Um, what else? I think now I have to boost her up. Yeah, have a drink. And that will get you to six. I've already given you a memory. I don't think so. So, give her a drink. Unfortunately, I have to read this book right now. Right now. Uh, read it with, I've already given her Arab, now I'll give it Trist. And that will give us two Grail. Unfortunately, I should have done that earlier, and now it's night time. This is going to be close, isn't it? Alright, so she has eight Grail at the moment. Is that enough to get you through? Well, there's seven Grail. There's nine, that's what we're going for. Alright, excellent. And finished. And I'm going to keep her up all night talking about weird stuff. There. 30 seconds more. There, I have read a book. Let's read a book.
The Encircling Tantra. The explorer and entrepreneur T. Everett Duplain, Duplains, Duplaines once attempted to plunder the temple where this text was held. His fate is recorded in an appendix. <laughs> The Encircling Tantra speaks of the Serpent Gate, that hungry portal, sometimes known as the Spider's Door, which is sacred to the Mother of Ants, through which the great hooded princes pass. The Tantra includes an invocation, but cautious, cautions helpfully that the invocation is of insufficient power to reach the Serpent Gate from the Hunter's Gate. A road which has no destination is itself a destination. It adds, helpfully, oh, how wonderful. So we get our fear back, and fear is what we have in abundance. So onto the shelf you go. Boop. And we get a lesson on horns and ivories. It is a scale skill. Do I have many scale skills? I do. Should I? Buff furs and no furs and feathers isn't what I want. Wolf stories and that's scale minor. I don't have a scale major skill yet, so we're gonna read that. And see what we got. Hopefully, it is a scale major skill. Everything else comes with me. All right, so we are almost ready, right? Check seven. Oh, she opened the door. Let's look at what's in the pantry. All sorts of stuff is in the pantry. This room is close to the roots of the house, and so it had a troubled reputation with the servant tree, who, late at night, might hear the pulse of an unseen drum, the buzzing of flies, voices crying out in tongues unknown, and so the servants would trade favors, not to be the one to fetch spices, for lordship's posset after dark all sorts of stuff in here. Vegetables, all sorts of food. Ooh, a box. Mackerel. Essential periost. It's good for a lot of stuff. Pickled pilchards. Uh, slow gin. Oh, it's a wonderful grail uh, drink. Homemade berry gin. I need to put this on a grail shelf, uh, nectar shelf somewhere. And we're going to start a nectar shelf right there. It's going to be helpful. Oh, more uh, cocoa. Flour. Pulverized grains. We have more coffee. More cuckoo honey. Gideon soaks. Therapeutic collection of beneficial bottles. All sorts of good stuff in here. Blackberry jam, rose hip jam. All this stuff is wonderful. And it's food, too. Canned ham. I ordered some of this. Scale, moon, and heart. The taste will remain reliably unchanged for many years to come, which is, in some respects, an advantage. <laughs> Phosphorescent scrapings, dandelion wine, rose pearl. Surprisingly common in these waters. Scrumpy. The West Country's most unregenerate achievement. Perhaps it's best when pressed from stolen apples. <laughs> uh, we got pumpkins and pumpkins. We got more packages. I sure should go in my inventory. Beeswax, it's a fuel, but it's not a fuel that would have helped. All right, so wonderful things are in here that we can use at some point. Um, but anyway, it's time to reach for the stars. By the stars, I mean whatever this room is. Okay, horns and ivories is scale primary, which is what I wanted. Um, the Hunter, The Way, and Their Memories. Alright, so that is good. And you are finally all amped up. You are ready to tackle this. Nine, seven, one last patrol. 
No. In you go. You can do it. You can do it. Overgrown kitchen garden. This place has been surrendered to wind and weed. Bees bus buzz menacingly. Somewhere, something clucks plaintively. All right, so nighttime. We made it through the day. We survived. We read a book. We unlocked two things. We upgraded a lot of skills. This was a good day. I think I'm finally through classifying all the books over here. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be classifying anything because I've got packages to open. Save the memory of fear. Doesn't go here. The bed is too nice. And unfortunately, I still don't have a cure for this. I have a little winter now. Just a little winter. I need to upgrade it and put it on the tree somewhere and hopefully get a winter element of the soul. Then maybe I can do it with the right mood. I have <laughs> a squash. How wonderful that I have this squash. My life has been hardly worth living without that squash. Good day. Last day. After this, taking a break. Um, immediately go down to the pub, throw in our skill, throw in our money, start looking everyone directly in the eye. Who wants some? Who wants some? Oh, we got a new room. Chickens! Tuppence, the other chicken. Tuppence's most notable quality, all observers will agree, is that she is not Terence. And we have Terence, the chicken. Was this magnificent and indomitable beast named for the rector's indomitable and magnificent housekeeper? Best not to inquire. Can I talk to Terence? I can. Dare I talk to Terence? Not until I have food. Well, I have lots of food now. I have to talk to Terence. I have to. It's just... I must absolutely, positively talk to Terence. Terence, you know things. Help me. Never seen vegetables. That's nice. It's winter, though. And we're here. Ooh, beehive. Bees, like by like, <laughs> bees like librarians, are not to be trifled with. The Kitchen Garden. In 1652, Musgrave de Wolf caught a traveling peddler stealing vegetables from his garden. An eccentric wanderer who went by Ricardo Milagro. 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 Ricardo Milagro. Musgrave's ancestors would simply have hung the fellow, but Musgrave decreed seven years' service in the garden instead. When the seven years were up, Milagro had proved his worth as a gardener and chose to make Grand Krug his home. The grapevines here were planted with rootstock he carried in his pack. Lots of stuff to do. You gotta figure out what's going on here, right? You can't just not do this. I hope nothing happens today that I need health for. Uh, but this opens up Ten Grail. The wine cellar. And heart the wounded room. Blood drips from the ceiling here. The maze crazed room. Oh. It's the happy part of the house, not the crazy part of the house. But anyway, we've made ourselves known. Let's see what the weather's going to be today. Hail. Edge and sky. Maybe we can do something with that edge, right? Will it light up the rooms? Will not. I don't think anything needs edge. Oh, that button. Alright. I don't think I have any need for edge anywhere. And as for sky, well, I'm kind of kind of in a problem when it comes to sky. I need a lot of it, and I don't have it. 
So I think that's just a reading memory. Mm, we'll see who shows up. Hopefully a quieter day than yesterday. All right, so bound a box inside the box. This thing is wasting my time. <laughs> All right, you open it with Arab again. That's my general go-to skill. Ah, uh, what'd I get? I got an egg. Well, okay. I suppose that wasn't a huge surprise. So I'll start cooking eventually, right? And now, now the the uh, the hen is hungry. <laughs> I must, right? Here, I have this gourd. And this. Yeah, unlikely to be used. Alright. And then over here, a consulting engineer. I can get seven sky. That's so tempting. Seven sky, and then what do I do? Let's go to the sky bench. Seven, nine, 10. 10 sky is no longer enough. And I don't have sky fuel and I don't have sky food, right? Check the pantry, no sky food. Mm, so unfortunately I can't use you to do that. Lantern though. Yeah, I can probably get you useful when it comes to lantern. I only have moth tusks. Right here is what I really want. It's not... It isn't on offer. So... I guess I try to light them up. I don't have any more coffee. Which is a problem. So I can get them to six. Do I have any more coffee over here? No. I can get him... Oof. This might be a problem, eh? Yes, this in fact, being out of that coffee is a problem. I am glad that I ordered more. Unfortunately, this gentleman might not be able to help me today. Hmm, just not going to have anything open today, huh? Well, maybe shoot for an easy one. Try to get someone all the way knocked up, scaled up. I don't think I can do that. I can probably get Miss Killy to open up this room. That'll be what I do then. All right, engineer, I just have no use for you. Miss Killy, come. We have things to do. All right. At least it'll be a cheap day, eh? So now that we have decided, hmm, I'm unlikely to garner from the hive this this time of year. All right. So I guess I got a harvest in summer or spring. Probably just not winter. I gotta figure out what I'm reading then. Let's go get a book. Um, wish I could read that. What is my nectar at? Three here. And I already used up all my health, so that's a dead end. Mm, so I guess I go find an edgy or a sky book. Sky book or an edgy book. Either one is probably fine. All right, so these are useless, these are not. Can I get up to 10? So three. Where's my sky? I got three, and then boop, boop, boop. three, four, four, and then five from the object. Uh, six, seven, six, seven, eight, 
do eight, and then hope. I don't have another sky skill, so the hope is not so great. So, I'm not sure I can rely on that. No, oh, okay, let me put it another way. I am fairly sure I cannot rely on that. Hmm. Ten edge, but you're infested with witch worms. Pay no attention to that. Just some worms. So I'm kind of running out of easy things, right? If only someone would come and organize all this. I guess like the ceaseless tantra. The world despoiled, let's move downstairs. Because they're fairly easy. They're around my skill level. Alright, so what we got? Now, oh, here's an appropriate skybook. Christopher's book. I found this right when I walked in. Never read it. Time to do it now. So, Skybook with the memory and the skill. That's everything I need, right? So, just in you go. We're even going to put in the tool to show dominance. 8 Sky. Easy peasy. Alright, so can I read still another book? Like, I could probably read you. Heart. I didn't put in chore. I have plenty of heart over here, right? And I got cakes. And she's and Mrs. Chili is going for Grail, not heart. So let's do this. Let's find a heart memory. It's where uh, Nectar's gonna go. Where's the bowls? Cake time. Right here. All right, so read this with anything but my chore. Right. Alright, all this is going fine. Okay. I have found something small and rare. A yellowing newspaper. This dated the year the hush house was abandoned. This is trash. Into the fire you go. Absolute trash. It certainly is a busy day. Ah, I fed the chicken. The chicken feels better now. Anyway, so Miss Killy. Now we're back to our A plot. I need to get you all grailed to the hilt. Would you like some cocoa? I know you will. Wait a second. The cocoa and I need a memory. So, time to sing some songs. And that will get her everything she needs. I don't have to put more cocoa on the shelf, right? I mustn't threaten to run out of cocoa. Anywho, so we did that. We did that. So now we're going to try to read the Ceaseless Tantra, right? So we'll come up here to the appropriate desk. I kind of like the how you need to find the right things in the right place. Yeah. Heart, please. It's you, you. Where's, where's my fairly good heart? Oh, I'm getting that memory still. All right, so be calm, be calm. Goodbye, goodbye. I suppose I have this heart tool down here too. I could be using, and also cake time. Alright, good. And I want you to have a cup of cocoa, please. I'm not sure I'm going to need this. I'm also not sure I'm not going to need it. You know how that goes, right? Mm -hmm. Probably should be opening that package right now. Alright, now we need to listen to a happy song. Will you listen to the happy song with me? Good. The 
then over here, we get our heart memory. So we can go upstairs, we can continue to be busy, 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 and read our second book of the day uh, with this, right? And with that, right? Busy, busy, busy. All right, so we are reading two books, and we are opening a room. We need seven for that. Any more? Can I get her up to ten? It's going to be real interesting. She's at eight right now, so that means one more boost. Let's see what else she can take. This Killy's a lot of fun. Fabric and fiber. Hmm. She needs Grail. She had a drink. She had memory. Food? I don't have a Grail tool, do I? I do not. Alright, Miss Killy. We are going to see if I can find a Grail fabric to put in. This shouldn't be used up, right? What is this? It is one Grail fabric. Hmm. Grail food seems more likely. Alright. Yeah. Have some jam. And I'll get you ten. That means we can open up this weird room over here. Days with me are so fun. Alright, we have read a book. We have read Traveling at Night by Christopher Iliopoli, sometimes called the only readable occultist. There is an extensive discussion of the comparisons between Iliopo Iliopoli's own dreams and those of Emperor Elagabalus, who Iliopoli regards as a dupe or avatar of the sun in rags. The white is west of the world, Iliopoli remarks. Iliopoli. Iliopoli. Iliopoli? Iliopoli. It's a fun name no matter what. Elagavalus found his way to the white door at last, thankfully. Speech can't pass the white door, and honestly, Elagavalus never had anything very interesting to say. I tried to follow in his footsteps, but I never learned enough of the white. I suppose I'm thankful for that. But here's what I do know. I have a memory of Saul's, which is two heart? I think I already have two heart. But I'm going to go check this. Yeah, I've already got two hearts. It means this book goes on the uninteresting shelves. This thing's got to go anywhere but where it is. Absolutely anywhere but where you're at. How is it? I can't find any places to put things. And we get a Lessons in Sights and Sensation. Oh, it's winter. Absolutely slammed in immediately. Hopefully, it is winter uh, prime, but I will not be uh, surprised if it is winter minor. Mm, let's find out. Anyway, uh, another thing, right? Yeah, let's get everything back. Then Miss Killy is ready to go to work. She's had a great day. A really great day. The infested wine cellar. Something much bigger layered here. The walls and ceiling are smeared with its slimes. It's gone, but its children remain, wriggling in every shadow. We'll have to clear, lure, or drive them out. Go for it, Miss Killy. Nothing more you wanted than to clean something at the end of the day, right? Yeah, no need to thank me. It is winter minor. Damn. I will find it eventually. Just keep reading, right? ABR. Always be reading. Alright, here we go. Dusk is falling. I don't care about any of these memories. Though I should probably just dream on solace, just on principle. Maybe it'll save me a bit of time. Second book of the day. The Ceaseless Tantra. The avant-garde choreographer Nicholas Kearley supposedly incorporated this tantra into his menacing ballets. 
The ceaseless tantra is devoted mostly to warnings about lively creatures called percussions, but concludes with a chant that can can use to summon them. It observes that percussions can be taught any dance, but they only prefer only one. That which does not cease is not ceased. Thank you. So this is a moth book. I need to to, to put this down somewhere. I don't have a moth shelf, but this will be my moth shelf. This is two moth, one nectar. Two moth, one nectar. And also note, sea moth shelf, because I don't have any nectar memory at all right now. Uh, weaving and working, not working. Heart and moth. I must consider uh, using that to upgrade something else. Do I have any moth skills, actually? Do I? Moth. Yeah, I do. I do have moth. Um. All right, so elevate my ramson. What happens if I do that? Ramson level two. Hmm. I consider that weird. Anyway, I can upgrade heart, which is the edicts by the Magafrine Convulses. More heart, more moon. Do I have any three heart anywhere? I don't think I do. Yeah, this is the closest I have. Can I push that to level three, maybe? What happens if I try that? And a lesson, two applicable memories. Memory of sound. It needs heart or moon. Mm. Not sure that is necessary. But over here, where's my other heart? Like, is this my only heart? Strings and songs. That'll elevate sky. I'm frequently needing more sky. Mm. So hard to tell what to do. Do I need more lantern or moon? No, I don't need any of that. So I guess let's elevate strings and songs, right? Memory of sound. Oh, do I have anything that fits here? Hmm. I can elevate moon. But I don't have the stuff here. Hmm. Well, I don't want to wait until tomorrow when all these memories fade. I don't want to just get this, because I don't need it. I don't need any of this skill. I've got moth all over the place. Does it require to put even more memories? And I don't have that. So I have lantern, and moth, and nectar, and heart. So I have to do moth and heart, and this is moth and heart, right? So it looks like, oh, I can can level that, I suppose. Because I can have the tryst there. Like, okay, I suppose. It's heart primar uh, primary, so it will do something good. But I don't really need the, uh, uh, the rest of it. Whatever. Ah, oh, got a new room. I have the wine cellar. Good job, Miss Gilly. Ricardo Milagro, Travical, ra Traveler, Rascal, Musgraves, Gardener. Magic, credible wine from the Brancrug grapes. Cornwall has never really been wine country, and their tradition was unevenly maintained, but the Curia of the Isle kept a good cellar. Alright, so... 
We have the blockaded stairs, which I'm sure can get up. Collapsed cellar, which is very advanced for a room. And the rustling stair. This is the one I really want. I need a proper event to happen. So, we did good today, right? Now, nah, I'm doing nothing a lot now. I'm just gonna open up the weirdo map. Can we put the edicts anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Oh well, that's fine. We don't have to go anywhere. So, they are making steady, steady progress. I feel... what's that? What's this? Oh. Yeah, it was just... Is this anywhere on the board? Great signs and great scars. Cannot go anywhere. I guess it's good that there's so many memory... different skills. You can lock yourself up. There's got to be some way to uh, generically generate these things at some point. But moving forward, doing well, I think. Didn't get to the top of the tower, very sad. Didn't get down into the, the underground, very sad. Don't know what's going on in this room. Pretty sure it's extremely important. <laughs> Um, uh, it's a new day. It's time to... I used almost everything. Wow. We're gonna wait until... right now. And now we're gonna save. All right. Excellent. Uh, wonderful little play session. We'll play more later. Turning this off now. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.